I'm here on the edit share stand and I'm going to talk to Matt Sanford about Lightworks on OS 10. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, Matt, I've been following the story about Lightworks, because I can remember Lightworks a long time ago, and it, it's had a bit of a checkered history. And through your company, we've seen it start on um, Windows, we've seen it move to Linux, and I think at IBC you promised it was going to be on OS X at NAB. We did. And here it is. Here it is. So, Almost. can you tell me a bit about it? Yeah, this is the um, pre-release version here, which we're running on Mac OS X 10. It's actually got Blackmagic hardware support already included, 64-bit. It's got pretty much all the codecs support that the Windows version has, uh, which is ProRes, DNX HD, ABC Intra, ABC HD, all exact same stuff. It's on Usual Windows line of suspects. Usual line of suspects, correct. Uh, it's exactly the same interface. What's really nice about it is it looks exactly the same, whether it's running on Windows, Linux, or Mac. You won't be able to tell the difference. The only issue, the only difference will be is actually the, the uh, taskbar down the bottom, what, which OS you're actually running. So we're going to get to a point where it won't matter which OS you're running. Can I take projects from a Linux edited on Linux and then yep. open up? They're exactly in, the in same. OS 10? They're exactly the same. You can take your Mac projects to Linux. You can take your Linux to Windows and your Windows to Linux or Mac if you want. So to. you could actually have the three different platforms with three different editors. Yeah, we were hoping to show here actually all three. Um, OS is all actually on the same shared storage, but still need to do a little bit of work with the Mac version, uh, which is why it's still a pre-release, not um, not alpha or beta. Uh, we, but yeah, the the, the, end, the end goal is to actually end up with doesn't matter which OS you run, could all be sharing the same media and the same storage. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, can you just take me on a quick whistle stop tour of the yeah. of the editor then? Yeah. So this is the project browser. So from here we can create a new project. We can set the frame rate, the base that we want to work at, and we can give it a name or we can choose one of the existing projects that already exists on the system. So you can see here there's a screen grab of the last time we entered the project. We still got to keep the concept of rooms. So for the project sharing, where we have multiple users going into the same project at the same time, you could go into your room, I could go into my room, and we could share permissions of edits, but still be sharing the same uh, media and, uh, and files on the project. So from here, I can choose to create, use one of the existing rooms, or I can create an entirely new room if I wanted to. So exactly the same again. <laughs> decide whether I want to record files in because we're connected up to Blackmagic here. I can digitize yeah. files in or I can import files. You can see here we're looking at um, our demo material which is Avid DNX HD. I can actually even import the ALE of these files as well. Or I can actually browse and search, find all the clips that are actually already in this project. You can see it straight away. It's opened up my bin now of all the material. And as you can see, as I click on each one of the tiles, the output is actually coming out of the Blackmagic um, output. And as we play one of those, you can see it's actually coming out there. We can set our input. So we can do basic storyboard editing if we wanted to. We can just move some tart clips around here. We can actually just do a rearrange. What's really nice as well is I can set in points without having to pop them out into um, source viewers. So I've set an in and out, a mark and a park, as we call it in Lightworks. It, it is slightly different from the traditional source record you can use that win, win, you, window. You can you still use those if you want to. So I can set this up exactly as I, exactly as you would other systems. So I could set up a record window as well. I'm going to make those a little bit smaller because they're enormous. So exactly the same three point editing we can do. So I've set an in point and an out point. I've set my um, timeline marker there. I can insert that in. And what's really nice as well is we've got some nice new features of drag and drop, which is something that historically Lightworks never do. So you can see there, I'm going to replace uh, option here. If I hold down shift, it will do an insert, which means it will put a, move everything down the timeline. I actually want to do a replace. So very simply, I can just drag and drop onto my timeline and start assembling an edit that way. But the nice features of Lightworks are still there, so trimming is still there. Exactly the same. I can trim. I can move my clip around the timeline if I wanted to, up and down, just by unjoining, left-clicking whichever side of the car I want to unjoin. Because it's still got a huge following in the film editing business. Absolutely. Uh, so it's like very editor friendly for building stories. And yep, yep, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the nice thing is we've got customers that, yes, are using it in film, they're using it in music videos, in advertising, in corporate videos, and documentaries. So although it's still very much um, in the film, you know, it's film heritage where its roots were at, it can be applied to um, 
any workflow you, you whatever you want to edit whatever you want to edit yeah, absolutely so we still got all the effects as well all they're all native and real time so we can add a titling effect if i wanted to crawl roll or a, a static title again i can just change the text here i'm going to call that mats edit nab just change the typeface of that change the size if i wanted to just dragging it out change the position on the face in fact have a nice edit share of red or orange even <laughs> And I can even have the typewriter effect for the start of the title coming in. So I can jump back to the start of my shot and have it come in. How about resolutions? Because obviously everybody at the show is talking 4K. Yep. What, what, what resolutions can I work at? At the moment, it's two, it's, it's, it, with RED, you can go up to 5K RED R3D files. Uh, 4K is coming in uh, Lightworks 11.2, which is we're just about to release 11.1 at the end of April. And then 11.2 will be the next version that, that comes out of um, the, that we produce, which will have Black Magic, uh, sorry, AJA support. It'll have um, a new import panel, uh, which will allow you to actually select clips, section of clips you actually want to bring in. Uh, have a new curve color effect, uh, and it'll have um, uh, what was the other feature? I just said I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it's good. I'm pretty sure it's good. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Sorry about that. Oh, 4K. Sorry, it's going to have 4K. 4K. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. And so, how about export? I can just do the export multiple flavors, but it, it's it's free. It will, will it will be free, but as per the others, there's a charge if you want to use some of the codecs. Absolutely. So there'll always be a free version of Lightworks. And there'll always be a, another version which has got contains uh, the pro features of the software. So primarily, there's codecs. There's other things like project sharing, which we've been showing in the theatre here. Uh, other nice little features like uh, the titling effect that you see there's in the pro version. Um, and other little things like uh, ALE import from an Avid, AAF import and export in the pro version as well. So when will it become available? On a Mac? Yes. We're hoping to get, um, we're going to make an announcement in the next few weeks after NAB. We're hoping to get a closed alpha group um, of testing done within maybe one to two months. And then we're going to go to a public beta, exactly the same as we've done with the Windows version. Alpha, then public beta, and then go to release. So uh, we we want to make sure with um, the Mac version that we're going to get we, it, our Mac audience is going to be pretty unforgiving. We need to make oh, sure that this true. is yeah. going to be yeah. what they expect from us. So we want to make sure that we get it right. So we don't want to rush it. And we don't want to end up giving them something that isn't what isn't up to their expectations. So we're going to make sure that it's done right. Done right. Two features of Lightworks that I can remember is one is the controller, yep. the controller which is over there and we'll take a shot afterwards. Yep. I take it that'll work with, 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 with this one? Do. It will do, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's not working currently here at the show, but um, that's an another reason why we still haven't announced the next test. We want right. to make sure that's in right. there for uh, anyone that's right. connected up. And the other thing which hopefully Tim, our cameraman, will be able to show is the shark. He's still, You've got the she's best, still there, sorry, beg your pardon. It's the best way of killing stuff on here. Okay, Matt, thanks very much for all of that. Very interesting. Right. No worries, nice to meet you. Thanks very much. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.